It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1,983, recorded Thursday, April 11th, 2024. A light episode. episode of the Gizwiz, Diggy D and I have three LED gadgets for you, plus a really interesting gadget warehouse, all next on the Gizwiz! It's the same old show with Diggy D and OMG Chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LED. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. Now! Now! And here he is weathering a, a deadly earthquake to get here. How, I can't. It was all the news that New uh, York was hit. Yes, absolutely. I, I know. We finally, uh, Dennis and I worked hard today and we have repaired the damage. <gasps> and I said, Dennis, before we put stuff back together, Let's take a picture of it. Okay, so this is the what happened in my office. I was quite shocked. This is the damage. Oh my gosh! When you sent this, this over, uh, I was I was uh, blown away. I was uh, yeah. I was floored. Uh, you might say. Yeah. By yeah. the amount of damage. Yes. Can you imagine? <sighs> Man. Yeah. Yeah. That must My have taken Easter. 10, 15 seconds to pick up. It's just crazy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But we ate a lot of jelly beans while we were doing it. Oh, so. good. <laughs> Five second rule. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was very no, good. it was bizarre. Um, I was reading the paper and having coffee. And I looked up and I said to Dennis, what the hell are they doing now with the street? <laughs> Dennis said, well, everything in the kitchen's vibrating. And anyway, I and, hate this new boiler they installed. It shakes the yeah. whole apartment. Uh, and and then the bell rang like five seconds later, and I went out. And the mail who was the mailman? He said, "My God, it was an earthquake!" And I said, <laughs> "Oh, that's it." So I ran back and turned on TV, and of course, every channel was earthquake uh, earthquake exactly yeah exactly. It was huge news exactly. it was huge it news. was it have was. you ever felt an earthquake before in new york is no. this common no 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 That's not crazy. i think the last one that was anywhere uh, anyway there was evidently an aftershock at 6 p.m which i did not feel <laughs> Um, you thought that and, was your neighbor flushing the toilet. <laughs> yeah, that's, exactly. Uh, Ex exactly. Um, yeah, no, New York is, is pretty much all rock. So when they dig in the street, even if they're uh, 200 feet down the block, you can feel it. I guess that's kind of why they get the that reputation of New York construction always having that jackhammer going. Yeah. You know, they're pounding through the rock, I guess. I never thought of that. Yeah. No, they. Oh, that's why uh, you won't see buildings sinking in New York City. If a building sinks in New York City, it's going to go down three inches because <laughs> that's all the soil there is over the rock. <laughs> that's good for big skyscrapers. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I have to warn you, next week, I may be a bit tortured. And yeah. a bit poetic, because Taylor Swift's new album is releasing at midnight after the show next week. And I oh my. am so excited. So just warning you, if next okay. week okay. I seem a bit <laughs> tortured and a bit poetic, that's why. Also, I'm probably going to switch up. Uh, I want to switch up the shot and stuff, so the shot may be a bit different next oh. week. But Okay. Yeah. Will I still be on the show? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. In fact, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was me that got okay. canceled, actually. You're the oh. host. I'm the co-host. We're replacing the co-host uh, oh, okay. with AI. Yeah. yeah, that's where the network wants to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if at the end of this show, there was a, we should do that. We should have a, a, a little thing that comes up at the end of the show that said, the preceding show was produced by an AI Dick D. Bartolo and an AI <laughs> Ch Chad Johnson. Did you notice a any disclaimer? Difference? An AI disclaimer. Yes, a disclaimer. This was a Turing test. Did you notice? Yes, exactly. Did you, Did notice? you notice? That was, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. That'll be a great 
April Fool's. We need a Thursday that lands on a f- April 1st. Yeah. Did, yeah. did that happen? <laughs> no, I'm good. I was, I was like, is this 14th? <laughs> did I miss yeah, it? It's a little late. It's moment? a little late. <laughs> Dang it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for all of my last week, unless you have any more. No, uh, no, we can jump users. right in. Let's we're, jump in. It's going to be an LED of, filled episode, yeah. I heard. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Here we go. First gadget. Recently, a building in the neighborhood redid all their sidewalks and they relit all the trees around the building with spotlights in the ground lighting up on the trees. And Dennis said, oh, we should do that in our backyard. So I thought, okay, LEDs, another way to use LEDs. So I saw these spotlight. 10 watt outdoor. Oh, we wanted soft white. So these are 3000 K and a pair of them, 19 bucks. Okay. Rum wish, the world famous <laughs> rum wish. There's GE and then there's rum wish. Uh, okay. So this is, uh, uh, uh landscape lighting. Oh, well, this smaller than. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's good. good. Um, there's just one thing that strikes me. Well, that's kind of nice. Strikes me as odd. So, uh, 3000 K. So that's going to be a nice soft white. Uh, it says five watts equaling which is the equivalent of 40 watts incandescent. But then it says 11,000 lumens. I mean, 1,100 lumens. Isn't that like, isn't 1,100 lumens like bright? I don't know. We'll see. If it's scorching white in here, who knows what it's going to be like in the backyard. Uh, anyway, I guess there's one little bit of installation. <laughs> Those LED diodes look massive. Yeah, they take that screw Don't out. they? <laughs> they look scary. Well, there, are two, there are two of them put together, I think, taped together. Yeah, you have to, you have to take this out. Oh, it is two spikes. Yeah. Yes, right. Um, because New York City dirt is about that much dirt, and then the rest is all rock. <laughs> How did you pre- how did so, you know that, Dickie D? Right, so I'm just gonna <laughs> yeah, it in. I'm trying to stick a picket in the <laughs> sea in the ground. Right, right, it is, and then um, we'll go out and put them in the yard during the day, and then tomorrow night we'll show you if they perform the way we want it. All right, let me just get my little bar under here. Ah, oh, that's pretty bright. It's bright, but it's not. It's not soft. It's not. Sp- it's what? It's not very soft. It is soft. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it, you know, but outdoors it might be better. It's yellowish. Let me hear. Hang on. Well, that'll look good. I think Dan Wally said that, that 1100 anymore. lumens is 75 uh, watts. Ah. Anyway, so it's not terribly bright. They look decent. They're. I, I, I forgot what waterproof it is. Uh, IPX68 or something. Uh, but they are IP made for 65. So they have to be waterproof. <laughs> he says hoping. Turn it off. It's getting are. in the... Um, yeah. All right. We'll be back in the outdoors. All right. It's nighttime. It is the lights are bright, which meant we only need one of them. Ooh. Um, and it's kind of interesting because it looks a lot better in person than it does in the camera. You know, the camera tends to brighten everything, seeing that you're in a dark space and it helps you by brightening it. But here it kind of ruins the illusion. It it is a warm white and I think it looks great. Also, it looks very film noir with the shadows on the tree. So all in all, I think this is pretty great. And now we have an extra spotlight, so we're going to have to buy an extra tree. <laughs> Wait, there's another tree? Oh my gosh, there is another tree. You know this back bar- yard like the back of your hand. We have a new plan for the other one. <laughs> it, yeah, it's it so is funny. so funny that that tree, 
is so big and directly in the backyard, but there is a, a smaller tree off to the side. That's funny. So it will be lit. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's great. Ah, yeah, from, from that classic company, Rom Witch. I haven't had a, <laughs> a Rom Witch since I went to that one deli in 1980. Uh, <laughs> it's been a bit of time. Um, I like them. I think these are really cool. I like that they uh, they just terminate into normal plugs instead of being some type of you know weird LED thing with a box and a converter or anything. I just like that they're absolutely. And, and you know, we have, I have a box out there where all the lights and the trees come on. So I'm just gonna plug it into that box and yeah. it'll automatically light up like with everything else. And I mean. Nine fifty each is pretty decent. Yeah, I agree. I agree, especially for uh, landscaping, lighting, and things like that. It gets very expensive, very fast. Yeah, no, Un absolutely. you know, unless you're doing the D this type of DIY method, if you're going like professional or you know, it's just it's just crazy how much they charge for that type of hardware. I also like that the spike and the uh, the mechanism to kind of move it around are two separate things because there's this image here. It has it kind of mounted on a wall. I like that a lot. I think that's really yeah, cool that you can actually, install or remove that spike. Yeah. The spike, you, you have to attach the spike. We right. don't need the spike because we just balance it between some rocks that are out there. And right. the spike wouldn't really, the, uh, actually, the spike would not go in. There's no ground for it to go into. <laughs> right. Hence so New it York. is good that it's not a piece, a <laughs> uh, part of the light. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. I like, I like, first LED gadget down. I like it. Damn. Very good. Okay, very good. Uh, next one is not an LED, but you might like it. Oh, okay. Oh, I love that. <laughs> huh? Of course, now that uh, we're filming here, the uh, the wise cam is getting like very jumpy. All right, so this is the deal. That is my trains in the backyard. I just have the trolley running right now, but. I like having uh, to be able to look at my train. Oh, come on, trolley, keep going. There he goes. Ah. It's my hand that's breaking it up. Um, anyway, so I have it on a cheap pad. This is like an $80 pad from Amazon. But I wanted a stand for it that I could rotate the tablet without moving the stand back and forth on the desk. All right. So, uh, Orion. Oralon. Uh, this is a, well, you'll see what it is. It's, it's a tablet with a rotating base. Uh -uh. And I'll tell you what I'm looking for in a tablet. And there was no way to tell without buying it. Um, comes in silver or black. Um, all right, we'll see if it's going to be what I want. Let's see. It seems stiff. Yes, yes. If you said yeah, it, it's going to stay. Okay I do like this. You are right about yeah, one. Yeah, I do too. This looks cool. I like its size. I, I was looking for this. Is I a, do too. And, and you'll hear the. Why I love the clicky. All these devices see? have such tiny little tabs to hold the device. It seems every time I go to move my tablet around, it falls off the tabs. But this, this I do like. Let me just see. All right, there's sticky pads on the bottom. Not say. Oh, Ooh, okay. That is satisfying. So this is what I do. Isn't that I neat? I wanted a tablet that I could easily turn. Now I can see already that it's best if you hold the base when you turn it. Ooh, it's a clicky tablet. I don't know if you can hear it or not, <laughs> but it's. Uh, this is pretty neat. I like. I, I. I think if you're looking for a tablet holder, so this does not have an up and down adjustment, but you can adjust certainly adjust the angle, and it's very tight fitting. So where you put the tablet, it's going to stay. So I like this, and not expensive. It was. Uh, 15 bucks. Only 100 ratings, but 4.6 uh, stars. And as I said, it comes in silver and black. 
I like black because the tablet has a black frame. Um, well, anyway, a simple device, but I like it. I like that too. I you could play with a yeah. tiny little wheel. It looks like Captain <laughs> J said, I'm buying this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but wait. There's a possible better price. Scooter X is. Oh my over. God! <laughs> What's it? Sixty-nine cents over. It's not that bad. It's it's still a you know ten bucks. Ten bucks. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, it almost looks like the same one. I think it yeah, is. Yeah, it looks very similar. And no that, free that shipping. Spot on. Yeah. Yeah, that looks that edge profile. That looks exactly yeah. like. Yeah. And the ratchety thing. Yeah. Totally, totally. Okay, well, here is the one on Amazon for five bucks extra. You can uh, get it on Amazon. I like that black one. They have a silver and they have. Yeah, a blue. I like the black too. Yeah. And I already lost mine because Dennis said, <laughs> "Could I take this upstairs because I have a small cookbook, and I'm forever trying to turn this wooden thing around as I walk around the kitchen." That's he said, great. this would be great. I put the book on it and just clicky, clicky. And it's very funny. Sometimes the pads catch. Oh. And you can turn the thing around and the base doesn't move. Oh. So. Huh. Um, huh. Well, that's how yeah, you know it's I a like really it. good gadget is when Dennis takes it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, this seems great. I've had to use iPad stands, uh, like, hat, like basically, like, oh, my God, I need one. Had to use one. Um, and this one seems like an absolutely solid one, especially if, you, if you're in a situation, like, I used it to hold chat or, you know, hold, you know, a, a thing while I was doing a review or something. And this one just seems absolutely solid. Uh, so I like that. And $15 yeah. is a... Really good price. Yeah. Really good price. Yeah. I couldn't imagine finding anything like that at Best Buy, Walmart, or Target for anything under twenty or, or thirty even. Um, so uh, I think that's a really good price. That's great. Okay, Excellent. back okay. to the LEDs. Yes, back to the LEDs, and here it is. I have found yet another way to build an LED lamp or light okay let's take a look at the remote wall mounted sconces <laughs> rechargeable battery dimmable magnetic ball wall light for bedroom or bedside okay and then also on amazon it says number one bestseller in sconces Okay. Well, so the box is a little disappointing. I'm ensconced in attention lamp. or okay. something. But we'll see. We'll see. Because it, it got 1,900 reviews and 4.4 stars. So it's pretty good. Okay, so here's the idea. Does it stand on its own? Oh, okay. So uh, you can use it as a stand. It's on a ball bearing, mm -hmm. uh, so you can aim it. But the object is here. Wow, that's pretty sturdy. Is you can ah. peel this off, stick it on it's a three wall, it's magnetic, and yeah. then mount this facing up, facing down. You know, this might be good in a closet because if you're looking for coats or something, put it this way. If you're looking for shoes, put it that way. Um, now I don't know if there's any charge. Oh, I see already USB C. All right, C. Remote control. Oh, it's a nice remote control. And I, I guess like this selling. We're selling a lot okay, of stuff. Okay, the two holes in the base. <laughs> So you can also screw it in if you want. Or if you're a very bad carpenter, you can screw it up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Uh, okay. A uh, little tab on the remote control. Let's see if there's any life in the battery. Huh? Oh, there isn't. Oh, wait a minute. On. Oh, there is none. And see if it runs 
directly from USB-C without being charged. Uh-uh, it's saying, um, help me, I'm <laughs> charging. I'm Little hungry, right I'm hungry. There. And it's uh, hungry red. Is red. Uh, there is not. Okay, so you can't use it plugged in. Uh, so we'll charge it up and see what it does. Wow, it charged in one minute. Okay, no, it says it takes three to four hours to fully charge, but turns out that there is like a master switch on the top of the lamp. Uh, that has to be on for the remote to be able to turn it on. Uh, okay, also, you know what? I like this. Let me just shut that off. From oh, so you can do... Uh, so that's warm, I guess. It does 3,000, what does it do? Uh, 3,000K, 3, 4,500K, and 6,000K. Okay, those are the three dimnesses. And what I like about this is Temperature. I have several gadgets, remote control, that have no control on a unit itself. It drives me crazy. It, 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 it's just unusable. If you don't have the remote control, at least with this one, ah, I didn't think can, about that. Uh, pick the you no, know, there's another. Yeah, you still there. have a chance. Yeah, yeah, at least you can turn it on and off and pick the brightness. One, yeah, two, and the color and the color. A manual override. But so it's just on yeah. and off and brightnesses, but that's that's fine. Then look what else we have. You can dim. Okay, dim with it. Wow, that, that goes, that's pretty dim. That's nice. Medium, that's 50. And then that's 100. And then somehow, oh, you can do. You can do 10, dim, uh, you 10 can different do dim, dimnesses. Multiple dimming and brightness. That's pretty neat. Oh, and then a timer. Ah, okay. That's cool. 10 minutes through two hours. And this ball bearing is really good. Okay. Oh, and I like the name. It is from Lightbiz. <laughs> okay. This is the Gizwiz signing off on a review of the Lightbiz. <laughs> Gizwiz Biz X Lightbiz. Yes. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Uh, I think this is a, so. If I was going to use this gadget, yes, I would. I feel like I would use it on the set or something. I feel like it's like the, the perfect set? little like. Oh, I need a little accent light over here. I want to set it for like two. Stay on for two hours. Easy to remove. Yeah. Easy to stick it around. Um, I like that. You know what? Uh, I am actually using it now on the set just to see what it looks like. There you go. Yeah. 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 Wait, where is it? Is it back there somewhere? Should I see it? Uh, it's it's down on the desk, shining up. I haven't found an actual place for it because I'm now I'm seeing that you can see my glasses in it, but it's pretty neat. And oh, in I the see, description, it's magnetic technology. Oh gosh, it's, it's yes. not just a magnet. It's, it's not magnetic. just a magnet. It's magnetic <laughs> technology. Oh, exciting. Um. I think this is great for, yeah, those temporary spots where, yeah, you can recharge. The way, to me, a sconce is like a permanently installed, yes. like this, right? Yes, like exactly. over the gallery, over that. I, do you think you would do that with a rechargeable light? Or would that just be too annoying well, you know to have what? to recharge it? It, it. says um, 24 hours on medium. Hmm with uh on battery so if you were just set it for 10 hours you'd have to charge it like every two and a half days but you're right sconces are usually built into the wall wired right. into the wall and they're right there forever right that's kind of why i, I almost feel like this is a, a great toy <laughs> or like yeah, yeah. a great prop or like you suggested a great thing for a closet or, or something yeah. where it doesn't matter that Oh, I have to recharge. You know, I'm using it so limited. It doesn't matter that I could, I just charge it real fast and stick it back. And then yeah. also uh, that manual light and moving it around. Anyway, I don't yeah. think it's like great for homes, but I think it's a great option for uh, kind of what you were suggesting. 
No, yeah, right. absolutely. And you can also use it as a flashlight. There you go. There you go. They're like, what type of flashlight is that? You're like, it doubles <laughs> as a hockey oh, puck. My, you didn't know that? Right. There you go. It's my sconce light. <laughs> my sconce light. You don't have a portable sconce light? Well, then. Yeah. Uh, those are great. Those are great. And uh, I follow through with another LED gadget. Oh, and boy. <gasps> you know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. Now, it looks... Well, wait like a minute. The winning theme. The winning was... theme was discounted gadgets. So on sale, okay. like clearance, that that sort of thing. Okay. And it looks like I am reviewing just a light bulb. I get it. But but that's the beauty of it. It looks like just a light bulb. So let's get into the Ooh. video. Now hey, diggity, so we are back at it again with another discounted on sale gadget. Today we are taking a look dun -da -da -da, at an LED light bulb, a 60 watt LED light bulb. Uh, it was seven bucks. Now it is only three fifty. One of the things I loved about this that I thought was a really cool gadget is, as you can see, it has three light levels in just one bulb and you don't need to use an app to do it. So I like that with the flip of a switch. So I really wanted to test that out. Uh, it's basically a dimmable bulb without any dimming stuff needed to be installed at your house, which I thought was a really, really cool oh, that's uh, gadget. Clever. And only 350 for an LED 60 watt light bulb. Not that bad. And they have an extra little feature that was pretty cool. So. I have a lamp right here without a lampshade. Uh, I'm gonna put the bulb into that. We're gonna plug that into the wall. And we have a little switch right here to see if it is just the flip of a switch. So we'll turn it on. Okay, well that is bright. And if I turn it off and I turn it back on within two seconds, then it will dim to a, a dimmer brightness. Ooh, that is much, much dimmer. This should be its dimmest setting. And then back on to full brightness. So oh, that's pretty that neat. is its middle setting. And then that is its lowest setting. It works really, really great. Honestly, I'm really, really impressed. Uh, one of the things I wanted to test out is I just turned it off on its lowest setting, but I'm keeping it off for longer than that two seconds to cycle it to a different mode. And if I turn it back on, will it turn back on at the dim setting? I hope so. Ah, it does. So once wow. you have selected your brightness level, ooh, that is bright, I like that dim setting. That's nice and comfortable without <laughs> the lampshade. Uh, so once you set your brightness uh, level, you can just use the switch on the wall, on the cord, wherever you are, already have your light switch uh, installed uh, to keep the lights on. I really like it. Uh, like you can see, uh, quite a good discount, almost half off for me. Uh, so gotta say, this and is a pretty that, good a sale, sale item, discounted item. Back to you guys. What were you saying? Uh, where did you buy it? Walmart is where I ended up getting it. Oh, okay. And I think they were just lazy when they made this was six ninety seven because online it's a bit more expensive. Oh than my god, ninety seven! I got a what? steel uh, for three fifty. Um, now, Becky said that she has those in her house. Yeah. So, Becky, tell us how much you paid. Exactly. Do you remember? Um, yeah. I really think it's a cool concept. Like, I know no, it's so it, simple. And, and speech, I don't know how you pronounce it, but that company is very big. Yeah. I keep trying uh, fetch to be feet. able to just Google it so I can see if it's sold anywhere else. Um, okay. So, okay. This Walmart has it for only 10 bucks. Now one's 7 a battery backup? I'm not even sure if that's the mm. same one. This one looks, no, that's an automatic timer. How many of these bulbs do they got? We got a Yeah, out. it looks like they made a ton of them and they made, they have one with, as a bug light <laughs> built in. Let's just look at this thing. What is this? It just has a battery backup in there. Huh, that's Holy cool. Holy cow, for just eight, oh, but it doesn't do dimming. No, it doesn't do dimming. No, yeah. 
Huh, well, the one that I found was 14, but if you are lucky and you go in and they have a clearance aisle, you may be able to find it. Um, anyway, uh, I think I think that's just about it. I, I am yeah, probably I gonna it's use it. pretty clever. <laughs> I'm probably gonna use this. I do think it's, it's very clever um, and uh, uh, useful. Yeah, it's great. Okie dokie, not so crappy of a corner. Uh, with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Fun. We did Our get some uh, answers from the chat room. Sorry, before interrupt you before you jump into no, the warehouse. Uh, Becky says that it was around $15. So okay. that was, that's about what Walmart's showing it for when uh, she got it. And then Lumpy is saying, I have the battery backup bulb. It works great for power outages. I feel like we had covered the battery backup bulb or yeah, a similar we, yes. one. Yeah. Something very, very similar. Anyway, that's great. Um, very cool. Okay, back to the warehouse. Okay. Uh, email is from Dewey Newman, who Hi, writes, Dewey. I wanted to, Dewey Newman said, I wanted to share the following gadget. I found it very useful on a recent trip abroad. And here is Dewey's video. Hi, Dickie D and Chad. Uh, you may recognize this cable on the left, which allows you to go from USB-A to anything uh, micro usb <laughs> to a couple of uh, iphone plugs as well as usb c and it's been very very useful for me in in doing traveling this handy little uh, iphone stand on the right actually it's more than that wait there's more Ooh. inside basically oh. is an a, a, adapters paradise so it yeah. has a usb to usb c cable macgyver has, anything uh, Apple um, USB connection has micro USB connection has regular A USB connection. These all can adapt onto the ends of this USB C to USB C cable. But wait, there's more. Ah! There's a slot for a TF storage card. Oh. There's a two slots for SIM cards. And right under here, no, we I have the SIM drive? card extractor. Oh, oh. So it's actually a pretty handy device. I use many of these connections on a trip that I just recently took to China. Um, and the, the really cool part is just how compact this thing is. Yeah. I and mean, it's really easy to, to store it away somewhere in your luggage. So hope you enjoy this. Uh, uh, you guys do great work. I love watching the show. My jaw is on the floor. I love it. I want Dewey, one. that is absolutely super. And Dewey said it's a great bargain because it's $15. It is. Oh, yeah. For, wow, it's a little... Wow. I have got to have this in my backpack. Like, this has got to be one of those things that you throw in there. It's like, and the, it's like a first aid kit, okay? You throw yeah. it in there for the day that you forget the cable you need, and now you got everything. You got the Swiss Army knife of cables. I love this. I love this gadget. That is a great suggestion. Seriously. Wow. That is real. I'm going to get one too. I don't travel anymore, but I'm getting it anyway. <laughs> I just want to be able to show it to people and say, look, I can't wait for an emergency. <laughs> Knowing you, you'll give it, you'll give it away to the person who does travel. You know, they, I'm sure, they'll, they'll I'm come sure over. I will. And you go, here you go. Sure Take I it. Will. <clears throat> That's great. Um, yeah, very good price. Uh, I love that. And don't forget, it started off as a stand. So it is also a iPhone stand on top of yeah. all of that. I am reminded that from the, uh, from the Amazon page there. Um, very cool. Love that. That is... Uh, here, I'll send the, uh, the link in the, um, in the chat. That is, thank you so much, Dewey, for that suggestion. That yeah, cool. Dewey, that is excellent. Dewey, you will get the current issue of Mad Magazine, which is now the um, April, the June issue, okay, which went on sale like yesterday. Um, so if you wanted to get the June issue of Mad, make a video about anything, a gadget you have, a gadget you love, like Dewey did. Uh, we love it if you have all, an old tech gadget you can't throw out because when you first got it, it was so 
hot, so techy. And now it's laughable, but it's fun. Uh, anything, just be landscape. You can be in it if you want, or you can just talk over it like Dewey did. And one to three minutes, put it up on YouTube. You can click as you uh, upload. There's a drop down menu. Click unlisted if you want. Then only people with the URL will be able to see it. Don't click private. Then only you can see it. Uh, send the link to mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Anything to do with a gadget. Anything. Send it in now. With that, let's move on to the letter. Our letter is from Mo, who manages to find <laughs> the most bizarre I feel like gadgets. Mo, he is our investigative reporter, okay? Yes. He goes out and he scours the internet. Either that or he's just naturally living his life and <laughs> things pop up. And uh, yeah, always, always yeah. a good recommendation from Mo. So... Uh, show the picture in his letter. We could almost have people say, what the heck is it? <laughs> That's a good point. Okay, or the website's yeah, loading. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 there we go. There we uh, go. Okay. 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 Let so me... chat room. Let me... hey, I do want to show that photo without the rest of everything. I'm trying to get to Oh, okay. Where, uh... Okay. Chat room, this is this is going to be a lot of fun. We didn't. Well, I just thought of it now because when it first opened the email, I goes, <laughs> what is this? Okay, I got it. I got it. I got a uh, way okay. that I'm not giving it up. This is a great, basically, what the heck is it, in a way. Yeah, exactly. What the heck uh, is this thing? What chat room, what is that? That. What is yeah. that? Because well, I'll tell you, to, if we got I... any audio, any audio viewers, it looks like a shoe. But yeah. what, it, there's a, I, uh, a screen, a circular... LED it looks like, like an LED light, yeah. yeah and it almost seems like a robot spring. Sh There's a spring? <laughs> oh, and um, you know what? It looks like the toe is lit. The toe uh, is lit. There's, under, there's under shoe lighting here. And I guess um, I guess we should say it's not a shoe. <laughs> no. <laughs> we know, no, we yeah, can yes. confirm. Fergus said lost uh, a robot lost shoe. Giz thinks it's uh, with Giz with numbers of phone. Iron Ski Man boot, shoe, yeah. Eric Duckman. Iron Man shoe, Lumpy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dwindle said a PC case. It's a lamp. A shoe boombox. A shoe boombox actually is probably what it should be. <laughs> that little circular yeah, yes, thing exactly. should be a big old massive speaker, but it's not. Mad, F Mad Frank said does it, it transforms... It, it does look like a part of a transformer for sure. Oh, yeah. wait a minute. Oh, oh, Dwindle says, I recognize the cooler master fan. Ah, that's giving it away. I think Dwindle is definitely the closest with a PC yes, case. Yes, absolutely. Here is, I mean, is it just the case or is it, that's, I think it's the whole PC. I but think it's a PC. It's the whole, it, that's. There it is. It's not just a PC. <laughs> It's, it's an a awe statement. <laughs> awe inspiring work of art. They have, I guarantee you, some marketing thing on here work of art technology. I think that they <laughs> implemented work of art technology into the case mod, tw uh, whatever this is, you know, the Sneakers yeah. X advanced systems. Yeah. Uh, I, love, I love how it's more powerful. Is it more powerful? You get a more powerful shoe-based computer. Well, wait, a, you know what? I am confused now. So you you hook your phone to it, and you the no. I think is this is screen? a this is a uh, no, no no. This is a uh, uh, look at it in in AR. Look at it through. Oh, with, oh, scan oh, this QR okay, code, okay. and you can see it. Oh in your okay space. okay. Um. Oh there it is. Oh is this? It? Oh it's is this a big. <laughs> I guess I should have guessed. If that side fan, that's that that fan, you know, a Cooler Master fan is like this big. Okay, so that that on the shoe, yeah, it's got to be like this big. It's got to be a big oh old. My. And this image confirms. You know, it. is it 
is it just a oh there they it got is. a lot of views of it can you buy it oh go to specs chad oh yeah where are these specs wait what are the top oh, um, specifications yeah here we go oh my god classic red oh, this is yeah this is just a case this is just oh, a it case. is just a case. It can do mini uh, ITX motherboards. Uh, it's got its PCU support, its fans that it supports. It has one 2.5 uh, SSD drive. It doesn't even have a full spinning hard drive slot. It only has one drive bay. Yeah, so it's just it's just a case. I guess Dwindle was right from the very beginning. I don't yeah. see a way to buy it. Is this just a PR stunt? Ultra Goat. Maybe. Legend. Learn more. Let me learn. I'm going to learn some more right now. <laughs> and you have, I'm going to learn all. No, I don't, I don't think. Here we are. The Sneaker X. Oh, it does. There is a buy button. Let's oh, my gosh. Let's test it out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? What? Okay. Okay, we saw the price. Professional uh, for uh, those so scooter, who buy. Uh, scooter X, see if you can find this for <laughs> under a hundred dollars, would you? Oh, we need to buy three thousand seven hundred and ninety-nine oh dollars for a OneDrive case. It really is work of art technology. You can't deny it. It <laughs> is not for the performance, the graphics, the CPU, no. the <clears throat> Wi-Fi, I, I, the Bluetooth. I, I, I don't even understand why. It is a joke. A joke that they would put. Oh, it's it's got Windows 11. Oh, it's Windows Light, 11. Wi-Fi. Okay, you, of course it does. For three, this is the cost of like the most expensive Apple computer. Of course it does. You don't, that's the price before it even has a processor in it. No, I don't even know, actually. Wow. Uh, it's an i7, so it does come with an i7. It comes with a 4070, which is, mm, is not the best graphics card. Uh, motherboard, RAM, anyway. How many USB ports does it have? That's my question. <laughs> oh, that's what Fergus just said in the chat room. Oh, oh okay. Uh, anyway, that is amazing. A sneaker-shaped it, it, it really is. Case. I think it really is uh, we'll make a bundle technology, I believe, is what, <laughs> it, <laughs> what it's built. Yeah, that's I really love that this. new update with the highway robbery technology <laughs> built in. Um, man, if you love that case... More power to you. You spend that three thousand seven hundred dollars and buy one. You, the Captain J is still getting. Oh it. yeah, buying one. Okay, and now Scooter X has been baffled. He did not find it. He did oh, there's not an find it. Boxing video. Oh my gosh. Uh. Honestly, I don't even want to watch this. We've spent way too much time on this thing. Here, let's just let's look at a frame of it in in real life. Here's okay. what it looks like, IRL. Wait lang ipinadala nila sa... There it is. Look at that. Do not touch. Oh, wow. How big is that? Absolutely massive. Here's the guy unboxing it. Oh, my... Oh. <laughs> Look at it. That's huge. There's oh the my... top of the shoe. Oh, <laughs> my... That is crazy. I mean... You know who needs to own this? Shaq. Okay, because he could actually fit in that size of a shoe. Yeah. <laughs> they made a computer inside of my shoe. Okay, thank oh, you. Oh, you know what? The shock is great. There's evidently the same company makes a shock. Oh, that's cool. Here's the shark. And I, oh, they're all, oh, oh. Well, Cooler Master is, 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 oh my, Cooler Master has been around a bit. A oh, bit. okay. Cooler Master is definitely known in the case industry. So I guess this is almost like, honestly, I'm, you know, I'm giving it a lot of hate, but I get it. This is basically their uh, concept car. Like this is, this is yeah, as yeah. far as we can push our case technology to make it look as cool and as amazing as, as possible. And guess what? They've made a hundred of them. <laughs> So you can buy them. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I think you're absolutely right. Exactly. You're absolutely right. 
Tech and W though absolutely kills it with the best joke is that this computer will play the best solitaire. I mean, absolutely <laughs> kills it on the solitaire, spider solitaire, and maybe even the one with the, the jacks or whatever it is. Um, Okay, thank you so much for sending that over, Mo. That was a, that was a good Mo, laugh. Mo, that was great. Thank you. Very good laugh. Uh, I want to say thank you to our patrons and anyone who supports us uh, here at the Gizwiz. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so, so, so much for your support of our show. Uh, whether you give back via our Patreon, patreon.com slash gizwiz, or via PayPal, just want to say thank you so much for supporting our show. We really, really appreciate y'all's generosity in uh, continuing to support us with this Dunb show. So we really, really appreciate it. <laughs> um, if you want to give back, please consider giving back. Patreon.com slash gizwiz. Or you can head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab. And uh, there's a big old banner that'll take you to our Patreon. Or a tiny little link that'll take you to a link. Uh, to uh, donate via PayPal. However you donate, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I what else do we have to cover? Is that it? What the oh, heck yeah. is it? That's, that's about it. Okay, uh, head on over to gizwiz.tv. That's where we record the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. When we are live, the website will just update with the live stream. So you can uh, head there, join the chat room, chat along with everybody. They're just a fantastic group of folks. So please head on over there, gizwiz.tv. Uh, when uh, when we're live, just about every Thursday. If there's ever a change, uh, it will be posted uh, right there at the top of the website. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Sticky D's website where he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you're ever wondering what was that gadget, where can I find that gadget, I absolutely need that gadget that has all <laughs> the Swiss Army knife of cables. Where do I get it? Gizwiz.biz, right after uh, the show is published, it'll have everything there, and then that search feature is fantastic for uh, anything we talk about. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? The game show online, you gotta guess what this gadget is. And uh, this, is, uh, this isn't the Swiss Army Knife of cables, uh, but it is the Swiss Army Knife of... Uh, Eggs, yeah. And you got you want <laughs> brown eggs? It's got them. You want <laughs> plain white eggs? It's got those. Fertilized, unfertilized eggs? It's got all the eggs. If you think you know what this is? Get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. Six mad magazines for correct answers. Twelve mad magazines for cl funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. Uh, oh, then this is the mad magazine that you get. This is the one you were just mentioning. Yeah. <laughs> This is the one that just came out yesterday. Mad the June Roast issue. Comedy. 2020. I like that. I like that a lot. Who is on there? Oh my gosh. Oh, they're censored. Oh my god. Oh, we got uh <laughs> you got some you know, this is a spicy uh uh cover. Uh yes. exciting, exciting. Okay, well that's what's what you're playing for. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>